Good morning, boys and girls of the internet. How's everybody doing today? So behind me, we've got a 2013, sorry, 2014 Chevrolet. It's the Sonic. It's got the Ecotec in it. And uh, the front driver windows do not work. They don't go up, they don't go down. I think one of the back ones is broke too, but they're not worried about fixing the rears today. They just want to go ahead and fix the front ones. So we're going to get in here, tear this door panel apart, and we're going to put some window motors in it. But we got to figure out which ones it is. There's a seven pin connector or a 14 pin connector, depending on something to do with the power window serial code thing. So we got to pull them off, to check the plug in before we can go get new ones. So without further ado, let's go get some new ones or get these off. All right, so I'm not sure what all we've got to have. I do know we're going to need some pry tools, so they got a collection of stuff in here. Yeah. Behind the door handle, a piece of trim plastic comes off. It's a torque spit down in here behind this rubber cover. Got a torque spit and then those appear to be our only two fasteners. So torch drive here and torch drive here. Let's go figure out what size those are. Show you what I'm talking about. Behind that cover, got a torx. Back here behind this. Right there. You got a torx. Oh, now you're looking at the wrong thing because I done turned the camera around. There we go. Don't know exactly what size it is. The screwdriver has got the label worn off of it, but it's still going to take it off for us. Get that guy out of there. Up and off. Behind here, you got your door handle. And we've got two electrical connectors. I have to get those off and then show you once I get them off. I can't see with you guys in there. And there's our door panel. It's so pretty simple just a push tab there. This one goes up and this one goes in like that. And it's got a push tab right there. So now, get our cable through for our door handle. That's screwed on there. You gotta remember to put that back on. That's what your door handle bolts to to close the door. And here's our window holder upper. <laughs> it's a, looks like a two by six that they bolted in here. Keep that up, so uh, Looks like the regulator bolts here, 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 and maybe here. There's our electrical connector for the window. Dump plugs just like that. Put that down. 
probably going to pull the glass all the way out of the car so that we don't risk it. Damaging that and looks like they've got two mismatched wood screws going through this into the door support to hold that up. So fun stuff. Let's get this out of here. Right, so we're gonna pull the wood screws out first. Okay. That's probably an $85 board right there. It looks vintage, it looks like it's nice and weathered. Yeah. You know, Forrest Gump was wrong. They just called it made with that. Yeah. <laughs> this is a factory window power switch release for the cruise. You, it's just always up. You don't have to worry about them falling. No, but Forrest Gump was wrong. It's not a box of chocolates that you never know what you're going to get. It's a Chevrolet cruise door. You never know what you're going to get. Oh, and a t-shirt. All right, I hope it's a vintage. See. It's half of a real tree t-shirt that's been cut into a cape. Oh, you know why? Because there's the other part of the tree. That's right. Look, you put your, you put your head through here, and then yeah. it's a cape. Yeah. We thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. I I thought it was funny. Y'all don't have to laugh. Yeah. One, two, three, four. And there's our... I think this one's got to come out. Yep, that one comes out too. And you fold it this way. And if we can figure out how to rebuild these motors, we'll make a fortune. That's right. And here's our broken track assembly. So right there is where it came off of here because the cable, the cable snapped out of there. So this guy's out. Yeah, the real question is... The window's supposed to be held up with these. Yeah. Right here, this is what the window sits in, and then you tighten these down. And this one's gone. It's probably in the box. Well, here's something that's anywhere. What about? See, it'll slide down some. Okay, this one's still on the glass, so we're okay. Is everything's on it? They, they come in threes. We did one last week in a Honda Pilot. Yeah, we did. So this one's a, what's the name? Is that a Pilot or a CRV? CRV, I'm sorry. Come down. I think it'll stay. No, it's tight. Oh yeah. All right. So that's that. One side down. Let's go to the passenger. We've got our window regulator bolted in. Now we just got to put the plastic paper crap back around. And this has some sticky left on it. So hopefully it'll be enough. If not, I can use some tape like I did on the other side. It's no big deal kind of like a moisture and a sound barrier but because you know water will go down the glass go between here run down to the door and you have drain holes in the bottom of the door so that's supposed to let the moisture out if it does get trapped in there but anyway let's get this through here oh yeah so yeah it's got Got plenty of sticky left. And that'll take care of that. So let's bolt our bracket back on. This bracket is once again what I said holds the door handle on. So make sure you put it back or you'll have nothing to bolt your door handle to or your the door pull I'm dropping everything now I gotta go have lunch I'm about to starve my sugar getting low so let's get this on here first we'll get this door panel on and then we'll be ready to Ready to go eat some lunch. All right, let's see what's behind door number two, Bob. Any guesses? Huh? One piece of paper. All right, so now let's uh, do the same thing to this side and get all the clips in here. Up. Same deal as the other side. Gotta use our picks. In here, and pull the covers out. Take 
our star bit. We're gonna get these pieces out. Just like on the other side, you got the one in here and the one down there. And I think this cover, yeah, that cover just pulls right off. So now let's get back in here, get these off. And we'll have this one off just the same. This door just opened another mystery here. You can see it was red and it's been put on this car and painted to match. And they even painted the inside of the seam and everything, so they did a good job. But this was a red door and it also has the same trick with the piece of wood. Although this is like a one by four that they used on this side. So they skimped out on, the, on this side. We've got some, some broken cables and stuff hanging in here, so. Let's get this out of here. So we had a mix up over here. You see how this door is a different color. This, uh, the car is a 14 Chevrolet Cruze. I went to grab, you know, the window motors that I got. Didn't think anything about it. Everything bolted in the same, but the pigtail connector right here would not plug into my window motor when I went to test it. Uh, so I got to look and it was a completely different plug in on the motor. There's our motor down here went to the parts store to get one since I'd already ordered these and uh, there is the connector style that I needed this is a 2012 Chevrolet Cruze window regulator so this door has got to be off the 2012 or you know later uh, Chevrolet Cruze and she didn't know it had a door put on it I mean it's it's painted up pretty good it matches I, I didn't know they they trimmed it and painted at all but when that cover came off whew, cherry burgundy anyway now that we've got the right window regulator for our 2012 to go in a 2015 car and the part that make it's amazing to me where the door you know your main harness comes through and plugs into the body was the same so all that still worked the power mirrors all that stuff worked like it was supposed to but the window connector is different so if you ever have to put another window motor in this car, whoever ends up with it when she gets rid of it, they're gonna have to remember, or figure it out the hard way, that you gotta put a 2012 window regulator in. So, now that I've got the right one, let's see if it fits. So here we go. battery back up, roll the track up to meet the wind. Now one you know, that motor plugs right up. Don't know how much of this you're going to be able to see. That moves. I'm gonna grab a right. door panel and everything reinstalled. I went ahead and greased the, the window track while I was in there. Check that out. Now the battery is still weak. We've got a jump box on it. 
Voila. One working window. Now let's move back to the driver's side. All put back together. Keep in mind our battery is weak. I got a jumper on it. I'm about to go grab a battery. But up and down it goes. And we greased it with a little bit of silicon lubricant by WD-40. So this thing is done, ready to rock and roll. We can close it up. I gotta go get a battery for it though. And it's, it's done. This thing's ready to go back home finally.